Hi, I'm Tracy Hughes. I'm a public information officer with the Columbia Shuswap Regional District. With me is Derek Sutherland, the director of the Emergency Operations Center here at the CSRD. Today's briefing was a long time in coming. After weeks of evacuation orders, alerts, and updates, we are now aiming towards a return home. Our first and most important message is one of gratitude. Thank you. Our community has faced one of the most challenging summers on record and has suffered through losses few could have imagined. Throughout it all, you have all worked to stay safe and done things necessary to ensure the safety of others, including those fighting to preserve our homes and our neighborhoods. Initial assessments of the affected areas are now complete and we have the go-ahead to begin a staged re-entry process. We will be sharing information across all our information channels over the next few days. Please watch for important information to keep the process safe and efficient for everyone. I'm going to turn it over to Derek who's going to reiterate some of these important safety messages. Yeah, thanks Tracy. The most important message we have today is one of caution. Uh, first and foremost, if you see smoke coming from your property, call 911. It's important to emphasize that the area looks very different now and uh, sometimes it helps to have an idea of what to expect before returning to your neighborhood. Uh, the fire zone is still extremely uh, dangerous due to significant damage and uh, dangerous conditions. Uh, uh, nobody should enter burned structures, burn forest areas or areas marked and fenced off. Uh, we can't stress enough, injury is likely if you enter these areas. Another important reminder is that water should be assumed to be non-drinkable until testing has been completed. Uh, information on uh, CSRD managed water systems as well as others registered systems is available on drinkingwateroforeveryone.ca. That's drinkingwateroforeveryone.ca. Uh, expect that food left in fridges and freezers is spoiled. Uh, garbage bins for affected areas are located at the Slista Fire Hall, uh, the Scotch Creek Market, the Ross Creek General Store in Anglemont, and uh, along the Squilax Anglemont Road in Lee Creek. A refrigerator and freezer disposable available for residents of Sorrento, Anglemont, and St. Ives. Uh, for residents of Scotch Creek and Lee Creek, uh, plans are in the works. Refer to the CSRD Shushwap Emergency Program website for additional information. You can also go to uh, shushwapemergency.ca uh, for a, a simpler version of that. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Uh, okay, so with these um, safety measures in place, we are now ready to begin a careful and safe return to our communities. Those who lost structures to the wildfire are going to be the first to return to visit the area and take a look. They're going to have a chance to see their properties and take some time privately. Tomorrow afternoon, we will begin the process of downgrading evacuation orders. Starting at 2 p.m. on Wednesday, September 6th, Solista and Magna Bay areas will see their orders downgraded to alert status followed by at 4 p.m. on Wednesday, September 6th, Scotch Creek and Lee Creek areas will also see their evacuation orders downgraded to alert. And the final one is at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, September 6th, the Lower East Adams Lake and Sutswek Park will see their orders downgraded to alert. Derek's going to go over some important information about returning to your home. Okay, we need to stress the following. Uh, if you're not from the North Shushwap, please stay away. Uh, we do not need additional people making re-entry for locals complicated. Uh, do not cancel uh, current emergency supports in case uh, your residence is not ready for return. Uh, if you cancel, they cannot be reinstated. It's easier to keep the measures in place until you have a clear picture upon your return. Also, because emergency uh, support services will remain in place for a short time after evacuation orders are downgraded, you may wish to consider uh, waiting to return until some of the initial congestion has cleared. Please do not show up earlier than your designated time to return. Uh, you have all had a long wait and we understand uh, the need to get back to your area as quickly as possible. 
no matter what, it's going to take a long time to get everybody back and there will be congestion on the road. Uh, we also know there's going to be a lot of questions in the coming days. Continue to watch for updates and you can go to our new website, recovershoeswap.ca, for information on recovery and rebuilding efforts in the region. A resiliency centre is set up at the Fairfield Inn and Suites that is located at 790 16th Street Northeast in Salmon Arm. It's open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. seven days a week. You may also call 250-833-3400. That's 250-833-3400 to reach the Resiliency Centre.